No, I didn't expect to be to be that good, but I expected to be good, of course, uh, to come in a team, uh, to a team that's been scoring many goals, winning, winning the Premier League a lot of times, and two years in a row, now three. Uh, so uh, I expected to do good things, uh, but to do this, I didn't quite expect. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's been a fantastic season so far, and uh, and yeah, I'm happy. It's two finals left, and. Uh, we still have to stay focused, either though we, we won the, the Premier League, but we still have to, to stay focused to, to achieve uh, in, uh, what we can achieve in the next two finals. Off the back of the Euros, the women's game has grown a lot, but you know it's um, increased everything around the women's game. Um, the WSL has obviously benefited from that, um, and you can tell, I mean, walking down the street, the crowds are bigger. Um, everything's just increased over the last year. I think no one could have ever imagined where the women's game could take could take me and you know I'm just a young girl from Perth and I still feel like a young girl from Perth and to people around the world Perth is such a small place in the world so it was an amazing honour for me but really important for my family, for my grandma who migrated to Australia 50, 60, 70 years ago so it, it was a really proud moment and it might have seemed so small to some people but you know, in 30 years' time, that's probably going to be one of the proudest moments of my career. Easier walking out of Wembley or <laughs> Blackberry? I felt much more comfortable at Wembley, put it that way. <laughs> I didn't really feel like I fit in at, at, the, uh, at the Abbey, but um, yeah, I'll look back on that one for sure.